Okay, here again at the top for reference is one way we have stated the definition of logarithm. Now, use the definition of logarithm above to convert each of these equations below. So take a look at log base 2 of 8 equals r. You know, does that look more like this side of the if and only if or that side of the if and only if? And whichever side it looks like, then convert it to look like the other half of the if and only if. Do that for every single one of these four equations here and write what it becomes to the right over here. So you ought to pause and give this a try. Don't just wait lazily, just try it. Nobody else is watching you do this. So give it a try, pause, and then unpause. Okay, so I hope you, you really did try that. So um, log base two of eight equals r becomes two to the r is equal to eight. So what's going on is the a is the two, the eight is the n, and the r is the k, right? And then so then we write a to the k equals n now is two to the r equals eight. Um, like for the last one, three to the x equals seven. So the three plays the role of the a, uh, the k we end up plugging in x, and the 7 is plugged in in place of the n here. And that's why we have now log base a of n, in other words, log base 3 of 7 is equal to k. And we already said earlier k, k was where the exponent was. That was x. And you see x here, right, by, by itself on one side. Oh, x is right there on one side by itself. Check this out. We just took the equation 3 to the x equals 7. And we just got, if we just swap the sides of this equation, not that that really matters, it doesn't change anything, we got x equals log base 3 of 7. Look, we have x equals by itself. We just solved the equation. We just solved for x. It was, x was stuck up as the exponent over there, and now we just solved for, we just solved the equation 3 to the x equals 7. It, it is, in fact, x is equal to log base 3 of 7. In fact, since x is equal to whatever this log base 3 of 7 thing is, we can actually use the fact that this 3 to the x equals 7 became this to talk about what log base 3 of 7 really means or what it represents. So look, if this log base 3 of 7 is the value of x and x was right there, then this log, the x right here, its value is log base 3 of 7, right? After all, we did say that's equal to log base 3 of 7. So then this log base 3 of 7 actually is meaning 3 to, well, what it needs to be, what the exponent is to equal 7. So log base 3 of 7 actually answers the question, 3 to the what power is equal to 7. Okay, It answers the question, 3 to the what equals 7. And 3 to the, you know, fill in the blank equals 7, that's not a very... Uh, nice number. It's like not a. It's like a decimal, is what I mean. Like it goes on and it's not very clean in a calculator. But that number on paper, we write log base three of seven for that number. So, what does log base two of five represent? In the same way, log base two of five answers the following question: two to the what equals five. So let's simplify log base two of eight again. When you see this, it's in what we're about to, to say is, look, the question is log base 2 of 8, sure. But we can repackage the question. We can use new words that make the question much easier to understand. And I know the question sounds silly, but we have to ask this question. We've got to, based on, informed on by the definition of logarithm, we rephrase log base 2 of 8. Instead, we, we, the, the question is now 2 to the what is equal to 8. 2 to the what equals 8. Of course, answering 2 to the fill in the blank equals 8 is a much easier question. But that's the whole point, right? Is 2 to the what equals 8? Well, that what should be a 3. Yeah? So log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. OK, let's simplify log base 4 of 16. Again, as written, if we don't know anything about logs, this question's challenging. But the whole point of what we just went through is that log base 4 of 16 can be rephrased 4 to the what power equals 16. 4 to the what equals 16. And that what should be filled with 2, right? 4 to the 2 equals 16. So log base 4 of 16, that, that's, that's asking the question, what, what's the exponent? And it is equal to 2. Uh, log base 3 of 1 ninth. Think of what the question is. 3 to the what is equal to 1 ninth. Well, this is going to cause you to practice your exponent laws. 3 to the what equals 1 ninth. That exponent here, what should be filled in the what spot? It's actually the number negative 2. So log base 3 of 1 ninth is equal to negative 2. Log base 5 of 1. Phrase the question. Use the previous examples to formulate 
the right style of question. Be very consistent. Look to the examples we have. Look at the locations of things. Look where the three base was here. Where did it end up in the question? So here, log base five of one. How do we rephrase the question? I hope I've annoyed you enough by waiting this long in the video that you say, oh, okay, the question is five to the what equals one. Yeah. And well, now answer the question, right? Five to the what equals one. This is a good review of exponent rules way back from the beginning of the semester. Well, it's five to the zero that equals one. So log base five of one equals zero. So take a moment. Try each of these on your own. Log base 2 of 16. Log base 3 of 3. Use that language. Don't just say log 3, 3. Don't say log base 3, 3. Say log base 3 of 3. Okay, what about ln of e? What about ln of e squared? Try these. Give this video a pause. Okay, well, here's some numbers. All right, check that each of those work. Check that I don't have a typo. Log base 2 of 16 equals 4, because 2 to the 4th power equals 16. Log base 3 of 3 is equal to 1, because this 3, 3 to the 1, equals this 3. All right, so I hope you see which 3 I'm pointing to. 3 to the 1 is equal to 3. Interactive question. Say you are asked to simplify log base b of c. But both b and c are numbers that are given to you. Right. So in the question, you, you're given the numbers. Right? So log base, a number here, and then a number there. Now, how would you reword the question? 